Hey guys, and welcome to this video on algorithm analysis. So in this video, we want to determine a function that we're going to call f of n that describes the number of times the statement y equals y plus 2 is executed in terms of n. Then we're going to determine a big O notation for our function f of n. Now, in the red rectangle here, I have some pseudocode where we're going to assume some arbitrary input for our variable n. Next, we have two variables, i and y, that are both integer values where we set y equal to 0. Next, we have our for loop, and our for loop runs from i equals 1. It's going to run while i is less than or equal to 5 times n. And then we have our statement i++, plus plus, which means that i is going to increment by 1 each time. And within this for loop, we have our statement y equals y plus 2. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is create our function f of n. All right, and now it's good to remember that a for loop can be represented as a summation. So let's create a summation here. And now our for loop runs from i equals 1. So our summation is going to run from i equals 1. And our for loop runs all the way up to uh, 5 times n. So our summation is going to run up until 5 times n. And then within that for loop, we have our statement y equals y plus 2. That's going to run a constant amount of times. So we're going to put our constant 1 here. OK. So now what does this equal? Well, if we use a summation formula that I'm going to write down here at the bottom, um, we can solve that. So this summation here says that if we have a summation from i equals 1 to n of 1, then this is equivalent to just n. And this is the formula we're going to use to solve uh, our function up here. So all we're doing is substituting our value 5 times n for our value n in the formula. Okay. So now we get 5 times n, or f of n equals 5 times n. Okay. So this is how many times our statement y equals y plus 2 is going to run. Now, we need to determine the big O notation of this function. Well, since f of n is equal to 5 times n, I'm going to rewrite that here. So f of n is equal to 5 times n. This implies that f of n belongs to big O of n. Now, why is that? Well, because 5 times n belongs to big O of n. But why is that? Well, Recall that when we use big O notation, we drop constants and low order terms. And so that's exactly what we did here. We dropped our constant and we just get n. So this is our answer. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave any questions you have in the comment section, likes. Don't forget to subscribe. And share the video if you found it helpful and think others can find it helpful as well. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.